Tissues are soft, thin, and delicate paper materials that have become a huge part of our daily lives. They have become our go-to materials for wiping off surfaces like the skin, kitchen utensils, and other appliances at home, and are easy and convenient to use with great absorptive properties. Do you sometimes wonder how such a simple material like tissue, with so much great impact on our daily lives, is produced? Today, we will explore the step-by-step -step process of tissue paper production. Despite the soft and tender nature of tissues, their origin begins from wood obtained from some trees. The wood from these trees is now transformed into tissues of different kinds like facial tissues, kitchen tissues, and bathroom tissues, slightly different in texture. Let's analyze this process of production carefully. The first step in this process is the conversion of wood to a soft material known as pulp. Here, the bark is removed of hard or softwood trees and placed into chippers, which mechanically grind them into smaller parts known as chips. The size of the chips tells you what kind of tissue paper can be produced. The next step is called pulping, and it can be done chemically or mechanically. Choosing a pulping method depends on the kind of tissue which the producer is looking to make. The chemical method involves a process known as the craft process. Here, the chips are subject to chemicals like sodium sulfide and sodium hydroxide and mix them. Then the temperature and pressure of the mixture is raised to break down the lignin content. The product of this process is called pulp, which can be washed off to remove the lignin content. Mechanically, pulp can also be produced by grinding the wood chips against a large stone and breaking them into smaller sizes. After, it is refined finely to step up the quality. One major problem which might be encountered with the method of pulping is the pulp having a high content of lignin, making it more fragile than paper. The issue is solved by subjecting the wood chips to steam and pressure before grinding mechanically. After the pulp is produced either mechanically or chemically, the next step is to bleach the pulp in order to whiten the paper. Let's explore different ways in which you can bleach the pulp. The most common and oldest means of bleaching the pulp is through chlorine gas. However, due to its toxic effect on the environment, it has been advised against using this agent. It is substituted for chlorine dioxide which is safer and poses no health risk. It is very effective and brightens pulp subtly. Another option is to bleach pulp with hydrogen peroxide. This is a safer and more reliable option as the chemical naturally decomposes into harmless compounds like water. It helps remove colors or stains from the pulp, making it naturally white. The prepared pulp is then ready for the paper making process. In a paper machine, the pulp is mixed with water to create a slurry, and this mixture is then spread evenly onto a moving mesh screen. The tissue paper passes through the press section of the paper machine. In this section, extra pressure is added to the wet paper to help drain the water and give strength to the fibers of the paper. From the press section, it moves to the drying section to remove any extra molecules of water. The dry section is equipped with heated cylinders that help to completely dry the wet paper. It is carefully dried not to damage the texture of the tissue and create a continuous sheet of tissue paper. One distinguishing feature of tissue paper is its soft and crinkled texture, achieved through a process called creping. The dry paper sheet is passed through a series of rotating drums covered with a creping adhesive. These drums impart a crepe pattern to the paper, creating the familiar softness and flexibility of tissue products. The degree of creping can be adjusted to produce different textures and strengths in the final tissue paper. After creping, the tissue paper is ready for conversion into various products such as facial tissues, toilet paper, paper towels, and more. The large rolls of tissue paper are cut and packaged according to the specific requirements of the intended product. Embossing and perforating may also be done during this stage to enhance the functionality and aesthetics of the final tissue product. Now that the process is completed, all that is required is to package it neatly. It can be packaged in either a thin nylon or in a box. The final product is ready. In recent years, the tissue paper industry has placed increasing emphasis on sustainability and environmental responsibility. Many manufacturers are using recycled content in their tissue paper products, reducing the demand for virgin pulp. Additionally, energy-efficient processes, water recycling, and eco-friendly bleaching methods contribute to minimizing the environmental impact of tissue paper production. 
The manufacturing of tissue paper is a sophisticated and intricate process that transforms raw materials into a product we often take for granted in our daily lives. Thanks for sticking with us today. We hope you learned a great deal about the step-by-step -step production of tissue papers.